Hi, I read Crisis of Character and I really liked it. I got the audiobook and I just want to say, Gary, you know, you've been through so much. What you've been through <laughs> with the Clintons, with Bill, what they did, uh, I, you know, I just, you know, I want to apologize. I, I just cannot believe you went through all that with your family, your career. I mean, and, and you tried so hard to protect the president. You did your job and, you know, everything that happened. I mean, I just cannot believe what I just read. I just, I, I, I can't believe you went through all that. And, you know, I, I just, I took a lot of notes. I mean, everybody's reading this book today. Everybody. It came out today. Uh, I, I got it. I uh, pre-ordered it. And um, everyone's reading it. Everyone's listening to it. Everyone's like right now doing the audio to it. <laughs> uh, you know, you know I, I got this book because I wanted to learn about Hillary Clinton, but instead I'm learning about, you know, Monica Lewinsky and what it's like to be a Secret Service agent. What it was like to be a Secret Service agent, what it was like to go through training. I think, uh, you know, my favorite quote was, um, you train until you do it wrong. You know, that's how you did it. And, you know, it was really, I also liked your quote, we don't rise to the level of our expectations, we fall to the level of our training. Uh, you said the Secret Service agents lived by that code, and I thought that was beautiful. And, you know, you really stood out to me. I thought, yeah, Secret Service, yeah, he's in on it. He's just as corrupt, you know, but you really proved to me in this book that, you know, you, you're not like one of those guys. You're not like Bill Clinton, you know, and, and that's just such a breath of fresh air. And, um, <laughs> You know, I, I, about what you were like working for the Bushes. It was beautiful. That was a beautiful story. How classy it was. Uh, Bill Clinton is, you know. He said he, you know, you, you, you. Uh, oh God, I love this book. I took so many notes. I, I don't want to give any spoilers. Oh my God, just everything. I mean, <laughs> the Clintons. I mean. And I liked how, oh, I'll let the readers read that, that they're bad people. I mean, they're bad people. Oh my God, that story you said about your friend and oh my God, the, oh my God, I can't believe you went through all that. You know, trying to protect your president, you went through that to hide it. You, you didn't even want, you and your coworkers didn't even want, you know, the staff to see what was going on. You were hiding it even from them. You fought so hard to get Monica out of there. You fought so hard and and she just tricked you and Bill just tricked you and you know it's not your fault. It's not your fault. It happened. You know and and what they put you through afterwards and the trial and then how the FBI lied to you and I mean <laughs> that is such a story. I mean to turn on the TV I mean, and see, you know, yourself. I mean, you know, the book was about more about that and, and Secret Service, you know. And I got a lot of good gossip on uh, Hillary. She's really a bad person. And, uh, you know, and I know Donald Trump is listening to your audiobook right now. I know he is. And I just want to say thank you. You must have been so scared that you were going to to be next, you know, like you, you, that you were going to be, you know, knocked off or something. You must have been so scared working with Hillary and seeing how she was and how mean she was and how cruel she was and Vince Foster and the Lewinsky, you know, and Bill and feeling like you betrayed something or you're betraying a country or you're not protecting the president, all that guilt that you suffered for all those years. I mean, I just want to apologize for... You got your vindication, Gary Byrne. You got your vindication, finally. Chapter 14, Drudge Report. I mean, imagine that. Imagine going right now, being a Secret Service agent, and catching Obama, like, on, on, the, on the desk with someone. I mean, like, you know, you're definitely not happy. 
you're definitely not happy. You're like, this is my job. This is, you know, you're not supposed to be doing this. You're screwing everything up. This is dangerous, you know? And, and what if that person was also sleeping with someone else in the White House? I mean, this is really bad. And you did good. You did good. You told the truth, you know? Gary, you were a federal officer. You were not a babysitter. And my favorite, my favorite quote from the book, there's lots of them, but this is my favorite quote. Monica, Monica, you know you can't be here, Monica. 